It's also known that. That, that is why they are animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear somebody. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they are animals. Yeah. Yeah. It's also known that yeah. they mourn their partners for two to three weeks mm. after their partners are dead. Yeah. Mm. With these ones, they are even okay. They just mourn their partners for two weeks. But with some species of swan, when their partners die, you have to quarantine the other one. Otherwise, it will commit suicide. Yeah. Yeah. It will fly up the sky and come and break it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have. Hello, guys. Welcome to my channel. It's a new year, and I wish everyone a happy, happy new year. It's my prayer that God will keep and protect us all, see, wherever we are. So on today's episode or today's vlog, we are going to the Safari Valley Resort in the eastern region of Ghana, a five-star luxury resort which has a mini safari and I just wanted to have this experience and I would like to share with you guys. Stay tuned and watch this video to the end because I have a lot coming up. as well called Brahmaputra also in India when they are fully matured their weight is 5.5 kg and the females can lay an average of 150 eggs within a year so these chickens are mostly made for their meat and their eggs they have these very soft bones and soft meat as well so you go to the cow to have the production to the milk and the food. They have these beautiful feathers to attract the female. They are from the family as the pea fowl. That's why they are also having their long tail. This one, they open their tail and the feathers around their neck to attract the female. Enjoying their mating session, the males perform a dance, and the best dancer will be selected by the female for the mating. <laughs> we pass at the back there and have a look at the Brahma. That's the matured Brahma chicken we are having. What is that we are having over here? That's the male. That's the silver pheasant, the male. And the females are the brown ones over there. The females are having this. Dark colors and the males are having this beautiful color. Yeah. The same characteristics as the golden pheasant. <laughs> they today open their tail and they are going to attract the female. And the best dancer to be selected by the female community.
take you through everything here in this camp. This is the heavier camp. The camp derived its name from the first scientific name of the most dominant tree species we have here. So this is the rubber tree. Scientifically, it is called heavier brassiensis. The size of this camp is about 32,000 meters square. We have three different vegetation zone types: the grassland, the woodland, also the marshland. So over here, the plain here is our grassland. We have our woodlands over there. It's mainly formed by the rubber trees. Also, we have the marshland, which forms a valley down there. So we go to the camp where they find all the animals. We learn we take pictures. Basically, we will enjoy ourselves here in this camp. Also, you feel free to ask me any questions. With the rules of the camp, we cannot touch any of our animals. We cannot pet them. We cannot feed them. No interactions in any kind of form. They are still wildlife. They have the potential to be harmful when they feel threatened. Also, we try to minimize our voices to increase our of called crown cranes. We have two types of crown cranes in the world. The East African crown cranes and also the West African crown cranes. The East ones are grey in colour and they are flattery birds for Uganda. So you see the depiction of those birds in their national flag. Also, their national football team is called the Cranes of Uganda. These ones are West African crown cranes. They are also called the Black crown cranes. They are native to West African countries like Ghana, Togo, Benin, Senegal and some part of Nigeria. They are migratory birds. When they spread their wings from one end to another end, it measures six feet. They can suspend also in the air for about 15 to 20 hours without stopping. Very, very huge. The black, the black bird. Yeah. They are the national bird for Nigeria and they symbolize peace and stability. No, these ones are the West African country. They are omnivores, so you always find them here in the swampland, which is our second vegetation zone. So here they pick up the snails, the worms, the snakes, anything that creep here, they feed on it. Occasionally they come up the grassland to graze as well. With their breeding pattern, they are monogamous. They select their partners for life. So during their mating season, which <laughs> <laughs> They choose their partners for life. <laughs> so during their mating season, which usually occurs between May and October, the bachelor males will come together to perform a display dance to attract the attention of the females. Wow! The females will be the ones to select their partners based on impression. So when you're a male in here and you don't know how to dance, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not going to be paired up by any female at all. But when a male is likely selected by a female, they will pair up together as couples for life. They will do everything together. They will feed together. They will groom each other. They will migrate together. When they are caught in, you know, they will isolate themselves and then they will do things together. Also, when they have eggs, the male will also brood over the eggs. When they have chicks, the male will be more protective over the chicks than even the females. So in a case where one of them dies, the surviving partner remains celebrate for life. It will not allow any other animal to mate it till it also dies. Yeah. <laughs> it's also known that that, that is why they are animals. <laughs> hey, 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 somebody. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they are animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also known that they mourn their partners for two to three weeks after their partners are dead. Yeah. With these ones, they are even okay. They just mourn their partners for two weeks, but with some species of swan. When their partners die, you have to quarantine the other one. Otherwise, it will commit suicide. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It will fly up the sky and come and break the wow. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So we have.
Thank you for watching, hope you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and share to other people to watch whoever wants to visit the safari value here in Eastern region. Thank you, bye bye.